Hey, Barbara Lero Cycling Strong, you guys are not going to believe what I found. Now, I know this is kind of a controversial subject a little bit to talk about, but I think this is a really, really cool solution. So, pay attention to the whole video, don't go anywhere, here we go. So, what we're going to talk about right now is music. Do you listen to music on your bike? Now, I know a lot of you say no, but you really do when you're by yourself. So, don't lie to me. So when you're going to listen to music, the main thing is, is we're all trying to be as safe as we possibly can, but enjoy our time and enjoy our music. But more so than that, have you ever got a phone call on your bike, you see a pop up on your Garmin and you're going, God, I want to answer this, but I'm not in a place where I can answer it, or those type of things. So these guys right now have got a really, really cool idea. So let's listen to it. Take it away, you guys. Sure thing. You see a lot of people out on the roads these days with earbuds. We're here to make and create a safer ride for people. And we're doing that by providing precision audio through bone conduction technology. Bone conduction has been used in the military. It's been used in a lot of places. Uh, and we're applying it to a traditional industry in cycling, a traditional performance helmet design. So I'm going to interrupt you a little yeah. bit. Explain a little bit more. Sure. I'm not the brightest guy in the world. <laughs> bone technology, bone right? Bone technology. Explain that a little Absolutely. bit more. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. It's been used in the military. Yep. It basically channels precision vibrations through your cheekbones into your inner ear. So you can leave your ears open. You get all of the precision audio you'd normally experience in an earbud, right. but you get it through vibrations. Exactly. So when I put the helmet on, you it, it is a little bit different. You like you can't necessarily hear it, and then all of a sudden you put it on, and it really does. It fits right on the bones, and when it's tight like that, it works really, really well. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. So you can get your music, you can get your ride data, you can GPS navigation, turn by turn, all the way home on every single route. And more importantly, Robin here is a mom. We were out filming uh, just recently doing a photo shoot, and we're riding along, and she got a phone call. All you have to do is hit this tab right here. This is right on your mount, on your on your bars. You hit that, and just like in your car, accept the call, talk away, because underneath the helmet right here is a small microphone right under here, and you can just talk. And then when you're done talking, hey honey, I'll be home in a minute. Hit the button, and you go right back to your music, and and then GPS or or whatever ride data you have um, tapped into on our app. All right, so I'm going to ask the big question I know you're sitting here waiting for, Strava. Mm -hmm. Can I hear everything I want on the KOM segments, all that kind of stuff, are, right through the helmet? Absolutely, that's the question, and we're working on that integration with our app, and that is our stretch goal on Kickstarter, uh, so that is in progress right now, so we're, we, we're with you. And, uh, I knew it had to be asked, so I thought I might as well be the first one to ask yeah, it. Yeah, very cool. Absolutely. Not because my license plate has Strava on it or anything, but, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it does. just saying. <laughs> awesome, Mark. So, anything you want to add, Mom? I would say that it, it makes me talk to my kids all the time. I love it. And I can keep in contact with other people. And it gives me my turn by turn when I'm going on long rides in places that I've not been Not before. familiar with, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask the, another big question, right? Yeah. Because I bring up the word mom does not mean not an amazing athlete. Tell us a little bit about you and your background. Um, I'm a four-time Kona qualifier. We've just set a couple records, ultra distance across Oregon and across Washington. Um, we use this to device to talk to our crew vehicle. Um, we, they can call us and talk to us and find out where we are on the route, as well as see how we're doing and keep us company. That's so awesome. it's a wonderful device. Yeah, okay. great. So the helmet's not just built uh, to be a cheap helmet. It's got a lot of design and thought put through it, all the certification stuff put yeah, into yeah, it. So yeah. they didn't just go for sound and forget the quality of a good helmet, right? That's is exactly what my right. understanding. Absolutely right. It's all about safety. One other feature is that it's got a G sensor in the helmet so that if you go down, you actually get an automatic text and you set that up in your app goes to a friend and tells them exactly where you are and they'll come get you. So wow. That's another functionality. Too. Now I really like that. Yeah, Very good. safe. That's probably that. the coolest feature. It's, it's really pretty cool. That's awesome. Yeah, it'll make life better. All right, you guys. So this is the deal. They got a Kickstarter campaign going right now. Go check it out. Decide if you want to be involved. Help them out. And uh, But if you have questions, like always, make them below. Get on cyclingstrong.com, become part of the community, start talking to people. If you don't ask the questions, we can't get you the answers. So. Hope you get out there, have a great day today, and most of all, keep cycling strong. See ya. Thanks, Mark.